Hello everyone, welcome to this Python tutorial by Tech Python Department of NextGen Cloud Club VIT AP University. So in this tutorial, we'll cover all the conditional statements in Python, the basic if else, else if lad, elif ladder, and the nested if else statements. Yeah. So first, what is conditional statement? Conditional statements are used in any programming language when you have to execute a part of the code only when the given condition is satisfied. In Python, conditional statements, in Python or in any language generally, conditional statements are executed using the if else statements. So this is the basic syntax of conditional statements in Python. If condition a colon indentation and the code, else colon indentation and the code. It is very important to note that in Python, indentation plays a very specific role. This is because First, suppose if we type another part of the code that we want to execute in this indented block, in this intended block, indented block, then this code will get executed when the condition is satisfied. But if this code is written over here, which is out of the indented block, this does not come under the if statement. So that doesn't get executed. So it is very important to maintain indentation in Python if well statements and loop statements okay so let's see how this code works run let us look at the output enter your age my age is 18 it prints that you are a major so let's see what if the age is 5 it prints that you are a minor also in python when you give an input it is always stored as a string so we need to typecast that input into our required data type. So here age is an integer value. So we have typecasted that to an integer value. Fine. So let's look at the if else ladder. So this is an example question. We can understand the else if ladder using this question. Make a grading system where 90 to 100 is graded as S, 80 to 90 as A, 60 to 80 as B, and 35 to 60 as C, and less than 35 is considered F. So let's make a let's write code for this. Marks is equal to int of input of enter your marks now if condition what's the condition marks are greater than 90 and marks less than or equal to 100 colon print what is the grade that we need to assign? Print grade is equal to S. LF. This LF statement gets are the other set of conditions that satisfies that when get satisfied will execute the code. If this if statement doesn't get satisfied then it goes to the next elif statement elif statement and if none of the elif statements get satisfied it executes the else block of the code so elif marks are greater than 80 and marks are less than or equal to 90 print grade is equal to what is the grade a grade now let's copy paste this part of the code and make the required changes 80 to 90 60 to 80 35 to 60 yeah so marks are greater than 60 and less than or equal to 8 what is the grade then then the grade is B. It's 80 here. Marks are greater than 35 and less than or equal to 60. What is the grade then? C. There is another condition LF. Marks are greater than 0 and 
marks less than or equal to 35 what is the grade then then the grade is given as F yeah so what if none of the given conditions get satisfied that is the marks are not in the given range then we will go to the final else block of the code that is else print marks are not in the given range so let's try and execute this part of the code okay it's executing the other above part also okay anyways I enter your marks my marks are 82 so grade is A this is how the LF ladder works so let's see for how the nested if else statements work. Let us suppose there is a government scheme that is given to all the majors whose income is less than 35k. That is they are not eligible for the scheme if their income is greater than 35,000. We have to write the necessary code for this condition. So let's write it. Yeah. So first what do we need? Age. Age is equal to end of input of enter your age income is equal to int of input of enter your income Okay, first we need to check if the person is a major or a minor. If age is greater than or equal to 18 and their income. If income is less than 35,000, that is the margin that is given. Then print you are eligible for the scheme right else print you are not eligible for the scheme. what if this condition also doesn't get satisfied that is if the person age is below 18 Let's write code for that part also. Else print you are a minor and are not eligible. So this is how nested if else works in Python and yeah. Let's look at some of the operators that we use in uh, if else statements. This double equal to is used when we have to compare two variables. Single equal to is an assignment operator that is a value is assigned to the given variable. But double equal to is used when you have to compare two variables. This is greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to. These are the comparing operators that we use in Python and they return a boolean value that is if a is greater than b and if the statement is true it returns true this is how basic if else works in python hope you have enjoyed the video and you have understood the concepts thank you for watching the video